Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this tree map and sunbear shard in Python by using the library called Plotly. The data is directly coming from an Excel file. In this example, just by looking at the size of the container, we can see the countries with the biggest turnover. Additionally, we also have the indication on how profitable the countries are, simply by looking at the color. Red means poor margin, whereas green means very good margin. We can also display only certain areas by clicking on the container or hover over the containers to see additional information. This tutorial is for beginners in Python and I will explain each step as I go along. I assume that you have already Python installed. If not, there are already great tutorials out there to show you how to install Python on your machine. Next, we need to install the required libraries for this project. On Windows, simply press Windows and R and type CMD. This should open up the command prompt. The names of the required libraries are stored in the requirements text file, which you can also find in the description box down below. First, we will install Plotly Express. Simply type pip install plotly underscore express and press enter. Your screen might look a little bit different as I have already the libraries installed on my machine. For you, it might take a minute or two to download and install the packages. Next, we need Plotly. So pip install Plotly and last but not least pandas. So this will be pip install pandas. Now, before we are writing the script, let us shortly have a look on the Excel file I have prepared. So as you can see, here's a simple overview of sales and profit margin by country, region and continent, as well as some remarks here on the right side. To transform the data into a tree map, I will create a new Python file and call it treemap.py. First things first, we need to import the libraries we just installed. So this will be import plotly.py express as px, next import pandas as pd and then import plotly. As a next step, I want to read the data from the Excel and store it in a variable called df. So df stands for data frame. This will be df is equal to pd.read underscore excel and since the Excel file is in the same location as the Python script, I can just simply type the name of the Excel file. In my case, I named it data.xlsx. If your Excel file is not in the same directory, you would need to specify the exact path to the file. Just to make sure that everything is working, I will print out the data frame we have created. Therefore, I will open the command prompt again and here I will navigate to the file location of the script. For me, I stored it in a folder on the desktop. I will use change directory, so cd and then desktop. Next, the name of the folder, so cd treemap underscore sunburst underscore python. And now as I'm in the folder, I can type python and then the name of the script, so in my case treemap.py. After pressing enter, we should see our data frame. All right, as this is working, let us continue with the script. Next, I want to store the values from each column in a separate variable. So for example, the first variable continent, it's equal to the data frame, so df, and in here the name of the column, so this will be continent. This variable will now hold all the values from row 2 to 14. Let me shortly show you what I mean by printing out the continent. So in here I have now the continent name Asia. I will do the same now for all the other columns. So next will be the country which is equal to the data frame and the name of the column was country. Next region is equal to data frame region. Sales is equal to df sales, margin is equal to df margin, 
And last but not least, the remark, which is equal to df remark. Now we are all set to go to create the chart and I will store the figure in a variable called fig. So fig is equal to px.treemap and this takes our data frame as an input. Next the path will be a list. So this will be essentially the hierarchy of our tree map. So the first level hierarchy would be the continent followed by the region and the lowest level would be our country. For the values, so the size of each container, it will be determined by the sales. The color of the container will be the margin and the logic would be that a lower margin should be red and a high margin should be indicated as green. And therefore we can use the argument color underscore continuous underscore scale and set this equal to a list, starting with the color with the most negative value, so this should be red, and in between the color should be yellow, and the most profitable margin, so the higher the number, this should be green. For the title, I will call it sales slash profit overview, and if I hover over the container, I want to see our remark, so this will be hover underscore name, it's equal to remark. As a next step, I will change the layout slightly. This step is totally optional. If you do not specify anything for the layout, Plotly will just take the default value. But for me, I will do small adjustments to the font. So this will be fig.update underscore layout. And then the title font size will be equal to 42. And for the title font family, I will choose Arial. Now we can save the chart and export it to HTML. In that case, we could also send it to our colleagues who might not even have Python installed on their machines. For this, I will type plotly.offline.plot and then the figure. And for the file name, I will call it chart.html. All right, I think we're good to go to test this out. Let me head back to the command prompt and run the script again. Oops, it seems I forgot the comma for our color scale and also for the title. Let me shortly fix this, um, save the file again and let us give it another try. All right, this time it was working and now we have the interactive tree map. By the size of the container, we can now see how much turnover the countries are generating in a particular region. And additionally, we also have the information on the margin. So if I'm comparing here, for example, Singapore and Philippines, they're both making in this example around the same turnover. However, Singapore seems much more profitable. We can also display only certain areas by clicking on the container or hover over the containers to see additional information such as our remark. All right, and at the same time, the script has generated this HTML file, which contains our tree map. If you want to change a tree map to a sunburst chart, it is as easy as replacing the tree map in the script with sunburst. If I save the file and run our script again, we will now have our sunburst chart, which is also fully interactive. The cool thing about it is that we could make any changes to our Excel data. For instance, if I change the profit margin for Indonesia from minus five to 30 and save the Excel file, all I need to do is to run the script again and I will have the updated sunburst chart. If you want to take it even a step further, you could also write a macro which will execute the Python script by clicking a button. In that case, you do not even need to execute the script from the command prompt. If you're interested in how this works, I have a separate video which I will link in the info card. Okay guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful and see you next time.